Here to tell us more about what else we know about the ancient Celts and the past and maybe the future of technology is an expert from the Max Planck Institute for the History of Science, Dr. Matteo Valeriani. Dr. Valeriani, thank you very much for joining us. Now, as we saw in that report, it showed us how Celts were actually a lot more highly developed than we had originally believed. But why is it that developing a calendar is so significant to science and technology? Well, calendars are the expression for the need uh, to find out in nature uh, regularities because on the basis of such regularities, natural regularities, natural phenomena, regular phenomena, you can uh, organize a group or an, one group can organize it itself, uh, a society, a group, and especially can organize the resources that the group needs to survive over time, uh, like, um, uh, uh, like in reference to the agriculture, which is the basic a connection between calendars and uh, human activities uh, over millennia. So essentially what you're saying is that it's important then for humans to know where they are or what, how to arrange themselves. It's, it's an important psychological part of uh, what we have to organise. Yeah, this uh, seems to be, uh, according to the sources we have at disposal, one of the most stable characteristics of human beings, to searching for regularities in nature in order to organize themselves, especially as a group. And in this sense, uh, uh, we have the emergence of scientific thinking already in antiquity, exactly because of these reasons. So I would very much link these uh, developments to these sort of uh, material needs. Okay, so we're creatures of habits and we need to know what time it is. Uh, what about um, how they kept track of time exactly? Do they have watches? They didn't have watches, they didn't have calendars. So uh, No, not in the sense that we have them. They had way of uh, keeping the times and record the uh, calendaric uh, uh, major events at least. Uh, the mostly we have from antiquity uh, is uh, our records in textual forms. Um, uh, in very different languages, at, uh, starting from the Babylonians, the Greeks, the A Egyptians, and uh, or in other forms that we now consider uh, archaeological findings. Uh, this is the typical way of keeping uh, of keeping a system that allows you then to recalculate the time or to foresee certain events uh, uh, when you need it, so to speak. So these calendars are not just like graphic illustrations uh, like we have nowadays. They are also systems, like uh, machines to calculate at the same time. Okay. So, so different um, methods of calculating the time, different perceptions of time as well. If I was late back in the day then, would I be? Uh, that's a good question. Well, there is one thing that changes and one thing that remains uh, stable according to, uh, uh, to my research. What changes is, uh, is the paradigm, the term of comparison that you, you use in order to uh, set the regularity you are looking for. Uh, so astronomy has been has been the uh, always this, uh, the term of comparison because of the apparent regularities of the stars called fixed stars or the, of the movement of the planets. Nowadays we look in the nuclear physics and we we look there for more regular natural phenomena. Uh, but basically the need is the same. We need something regular in order to be sure about our measurements of time. Okay. Well, Dr. Matteo Valeriani, thank you very much for joining us here at tomorrow today. Thank you.